So today's video, I have a fragrance spotlight and I am so sorry that this video is so late. I know I was meant to do one in November, but my content calendar got so tied up, but I'm so excited to share this fragrance with you today. If you haven't seen my last fragrance spotlight video, then I'm going to link it at the top here and I'll also leave it in my description box down below. But today I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most unique fragrances in my collection. It has been Gourmand Queen approved okay this is the real deal i will be reviewing spotlighting and giving my thoughts on one of my favorite gourmands for the summertime the gate paris inside out so if you want to hear my thoughts on this perfume then please stay tuned so have you guys heard of the house the gate paris have you tried any of their fragrances or have you been curious to drop me a comment and let me know but for those who haven't the gate paris is a really cool niche fragrance house that of course is based in france they have two collections as part of their line. One is the Caravan collection that has four fragrances that are based around oud. And then the other collection is called the Love Collection, which has eight fragrances. This is the collection that Inside Out is a part of. So my overall thoughts on the Gate Paris is I think that they are really underrated. I've tried quite a few of their fragrances so far and majority of them I really, really liked. They do gourmand so, so well and Inside Out is a testament to how amazing their gourmands are. One of the fragrances I really want to get my hands on is Memories. It's this beautiful tobacco vanilla that smells it is oh, amazing. I really need to get that one. The fragrance comes in the Gate Paris box. It's this almost plasticky box, but when you open it, you get this beautiful, sturdy, almost leather feeling box. It's so luxurious and beautiful. And I really like how the box opens. It opens like a door to your fragrance. And then the bottle design is very simple. It's gold. It's got the Gate logo on there. Here's where things get interesting because the notes of this fragrance when I first like, saw the notes I was like oh my god I really need to get a sample of this this is gourmand goals so at the top of this fragrance you have passion fruit sorbet basil cassis and mandarin orange in the heart you have absinthe frangipani and rosemary and the base of this fragrance is ice cream and vanilla ice cream yeah you heard me right it's got ice cream in it so firstly I'd like to just start off this video right by saying that this is one of the most unique smelling fragrances in my collection I spray it on myself before I begin just so I can remind myself of how this smells so this is a gourmand fragrance that has an aromatic component to it so in the opening you get this blast of passion fruit and sorbet and literally smells like you're eating a passion fruit sorbet in the sunshine it's very very sweet sweet and juicy yet invigorating and fresh and you get some aromatic touches from the basil and the cassis and the way that those aromatic notes are blended with the sweetness from the passion fruit is just divine and those aromatic notes just adds to that uplifting nature of the perfume and creates this slightly spicy accord. But as the fragrance dries down this fragrance continues to show you its uniqueness with its transformation so the absinthe note is present in the opening but then it gets more prominent in the dry down. The absinthe note is absolutely incredible. It's really interesting that they chose absinthe as a note here because the absinthe adds this bitter slightly dry aromatic touch to the fragrance which of course is really needed because the fragrance is really really sweet. In the heart, some floral facets are introduced to the fragrance, but they're not very prominent as the passion fruit is still quite prominent in the heart of this fragrance. It does kind of transfer into the heart and you get that fruity passion fruit blended in with that absinthe and those aromatic notes. The final dry down of this fragrance is where my heart sings, okay, because it is oh, gourmand goals. It's it's gourmand goals. Guys, the final dry down of this fragrance is this creamy, realistic ice cream smelling note. And imagine this. So, you know when you go to Pizza Hut, right? Bear with me, bear with me. You know when you go to Pizza Hut and you get that dessert option where it's unlimited ice cream and they have literally ice cream on tap? The fragrance smells like that smell you get when you turn on the ice cream tap and in the air you get this creamy, 
vanillic sweetness. That is exactly how the dry down of the fragrance smells or when you get a fresh tub of vanilla ice cream and you take off the lid and then you just get that vanillic smell just wafting all over you. Oh, it is absolutely amazing. If you're literally falling in love with the sound of this gourmand bomb then can you please let me know by leaving this video a huge thumbs up as it really supports my visibility on this platform. Mwah. Thank you so much. So if you're watching this and you're new to my channel then hello I'm the gourmand queen. I'm so glad that you found me and if you love gourmands then make sure you're subscribed but I really struggle to find gourmands that work in the summertime. But this is one that just works. It's this beautiful harmony of sweetness and aromaticness. And those aromatic notes like the basil and the cassis really add this uplifting, invigorating nature to the fragrance that makes it perfect for the warmer months. And the final dry down of this fragrance is that creamy vanilla ice cream. But the fragrance still retains that uplifting nature to it. Oh. Guys, I love this so much for the summertime. It's beautiful. I know that this fragrance would be loved by so many women. So I actually sold a 30ml decant of this to some lady in my gym. She's so lovely. I initially gave her a 2ml sample and she's not really into perfumes like that, but she tried it and she absolutely loved it. And she was like, I need it. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll sell you a sample of this. So I'm confident that you ladies would love this fragrance. And in my opinion, this fragrance leads a little bit more on the feminine side but of course it's marketed as unisex so men can wear this i want to smell it on a man i'll give it a try so let's talk about performance because this fragrance performs so well i get about six hours strong wear on this fragrance and it projects like crazy for the first couple of hours but then as the fragrance dries down into that creamy vanillic base you find that it sits closer to the skin you still get whiffs in the air of that creamy ice cream it's like it comes back to surprise you and lets you know hey i'm still here i really really love how realistic the ice cream note is in this fragrance like oh I'm just I'm obsessed I'm genuinely obsessed I know I've said this before but I cannot convey how realistic that ice cream note is in the base of this fragrance I adore it so much so here are my final thoughts I am obsessed with this fragrance guys and not just because of how it smells but how realistic all of the notes that are in this perfume smell and it's just a testament to how high quality and well refined this fragrance is the ice cream record that that they've got in this fragrance smells so real and you would think from the notes that this fragrance smells maybe a bit tacky and cheap but it doesn't at all it smells super luxurious and high quality inside out is one of those gourmand fragrances that you need for the summer as it works perfectly i can see this being worn by someone that's just on a holiday tropical vacation they've got this on when the sun's setting and there's this warm breeze in the air guys get me out of lockdown so i can go on holiday now if you're based in the uk then you can find this fragrance on javoy uk's website and you can also get a sample i'm so confident that my gourmand queens are going to love this fragrance so what i would suggest you do is buy a sample when you finish watching this video and then follow me on instagram and tag me and let me know your thoughts on this perfume oh my god i'm so excited to hear your thoughts on this one guys because i absolutely adore when you guys tag me on instagram let me know what fragrances and samples you got because of me and to my international gang you can get this fragrance on the gate paris's website and i'll also leave in my description box a list of of some of their distributors as I know that this fragrance is sold worldwide. Have you tried any fragrances from The Gate Paris? Have you heard of the house and maybe you've been curious? What's your favourite summertime gourmand? Let me know in the comments section. Please don't forget to subscribe. We talk about all things perfume here, helping you to be the best version of yourself smelling fantastic. And if you enjoyed this video, then could you please leave me a thumbs up as it really supports my visibility on this platform. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video on Tuesday. Bye!